How's it going? I have a new, well, new to me, uh, base vehicle, eventually. Not right now, because we're using it as a family car. But as you can see, well, maybe you can't see, but these already came with it. I'm so happy about the tires being almost brand new, so I don't have to worry about tires ever going flat on me. I have the, uh, what is it, that tire world hazard warranty uh, through discount. So if it gets flat or whatever, they either replace it or fix it. Um, I have, I've waxed. Uh, I've uh, used the Maguire's clay bar deal to clean up the, the paint. That's not so good, huh? And uh, I mean, it's it just it's smooth. You can see this. It's like burnt right here, I guess, from the sun. And uh, I've seen plenty of Tahoes, Yukon, Silverados, you know, you name it, that they're just, the, the clear coat is just peeled off. And uh, I, I just don't want that to happen. I mean, I have, uh, I have my Silverado over there that I'm pretty sure you've seen in my other videos. And that one, the paint's not messed up at all other than the scratches that I've put on it. I mean, there's, there's no burnt or anything like that. And uh, I, I did the, the hood on that one. I waxed it and, and, and used the bar on it just so, to, you know, to prevent it. Uh, I just wanted to show you what I did to this. Uh, I know I didn't make any videos, but with babies in the house, and I just, I don't have any time to, to do it right now. The baby's asleep, so. Uh, the wheels, I didn't put it on there. Like I said, he, he put them on there. Uh, uh, the bull bar was already on there. What wasn't on there was the LED light bar. Of course, he didn't wax it. He didn't. Uh, uh, he didn't clay the whole truck. Uh, the the fog lights you can see are amber. I got those off of eBay for like twenty five bucks. Uh, the old ones were. One of them was missing the lens and didn't even work. The other side, you know, worked, but it was clear. I didn't really like it. I already have the uh, blacked out, not blacked out, but uh, black housing with clear lens lights. Cause you can see all that condensation in there it's uh, making the bulbs uh, pop I actually have them in here throw all my junk oh they're all in the box just but they're in here those are the new ones and uh i'm just waiting to get the hids so i can uh uh so I can, uh, you know, have brighter lighting. I can't, I can't really see with these stock lights. Let me uh, open up the hood just so I can show you what I've done under here, which is absolutely nothing. But if you've seen my Silverado Big Three uh, upgrade, you know what? You basically know what I'm gonna do to this one. Uh, this one has the the factory upgraded alternator which I'm going to take out and probably put in the Silverado because that one's probably, the project for that one is, is done. This is now going to take over the project. And uh, I have, uh, see these are the the connectors for the for the HID kits for the, it's a, it's a relay kit so I don't use the power from the from the truck to power the lights. It's just going to turn on a relay then that relay is going to send the battery power to to the HID kit because the previous time that I've used HID kits on the Silverado it wanted to like the, the connector was burning and uh, it, it made the lights just turn off even when I went back to stock it, the lights didn't want to turn the 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 low beams didn't want to turn on and uh, after a while they just turned off by them turned on by themselves I don't I don't know what the problem is but now I'm gonna go a little bit safer route Powering a relay is not as you know strenuous as powering an HID kit. So um, uh, what else can I say? Um, oh, I changed out the spark plugs, the spark plug wires. You know, a little, little uh, uh, tune up there. Of course, I changed the oil with uh, the Mobile One. This thing has a hundred and right now it has one hundred and seventy thousand miles. But if it's anything like my truck, I've been telling everybody that. 170,000 miles on this truck it is like halfway you know this thing still has plenty of life uh, 
I did uh, a full brake flush uh, and I, I did it because the, the brakes just didn't feel right they, they felt like really spongy and, and so what I did was change out the rotors and the pads to cross drilled you can see the holes there slots and uh, that didn't fix it either and I was getting really upset because I'm spending all this money and time to make it you know have better brakes and the pedal still feels like crap so what I did I had gotten some just get position I had gotten some brake lines from stop tech and uh, you can see them there those brake lines made all the difference that, that was the best uh, brake upgrade I could have done and uh, it made me it forced me to bleed the brakes twice so it, uh, now I'm sure that I'll have clean brake fluid for a while most people don't even change out their brake fluid on their on their cars um, this is old too so I have a triple alternator bracket I have three mechman alternators which will all fit this truck Everything from my Serato will swap over to this side, even the, the battery mount, uh, the batteries of course. Uh, this guy had a, a Duralast in here, which I, it's, it's perfectly fine for starting. You know, I'm not running any heavy duty equipment in here. Um, the inside, I mean you can see it has a tear, but I mean this, this truck is, what, what is it, 14 years old? Uh, other than that, he kept it stock. The needles on the on the tack and the speedo and gauges, all that, they, they're a little kind of faded, so it makes me think that uh, he had it in the sun a lot, maybe that's why it's burnt on the hood. Uh, the OnStar doesn't work because it's that old analog style. Um, the cassette wasn't working, and I uh, cleaned it up uh, with a Q-tip and, and, and contact cleaner, and it started working. And I actually connected, you see this wire there, uh, it's not It's not going down here, it's going inside, under here, and I bought a VT, uh, damn, what was that brand? Uh, from Sonic Electronics, it's a Bluetooth uh, uh, receiver, not, it, it, it doesn't, it's not a transmitter, it's a receiver. So you can connect your phone, I, connect, I connected that to this cassette adapter. So when I uh, connect my phone to the receiver, it'll send a signal to the to the cassette wirelessly and play through the factory speakers. And uh, the speakers, all the speakers were shot, every single one. You can't really see it, but I have a Polk Audio six and a half in there uh, from Sonic Electronics. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, that little USB deal right there. It looks like it's it was always there, but it wasn't. I, I actually got that off a guy's bike because uh, he didn't need it and wanted to take it off. And, uh, and I told him, as long as it works, I'll take it off for free and and uh, it fit in there nicely. So now the wife has a has a USB port to plug in. This thing reaches all the way to the back seat. Um, I cleaned up this truck as best I could. It, it kind of stank in here like sweating dogs. And that's exactly what it was. That's what the owner told me. And uh, I, yeah, I, I, it, it took me a couple of days to to clean it the way I want. I even ran it a, a what is it, a doctor rug doctor, whatever the hell it is. Um, this this decal was worn out, but I bought a new one. It was thirteen dollars. What else can I tell you? It came with all the, the third row seat and the uh, the little deal to cover back there when you're not having the third row back there. Uh, it does have the factory subwoofer. And that one was shot too. I mean, it, it sounded like crap. I had to turn down the bass when I, when we first got it. All, all we could hear was the, the highs from the tweeters. And, uh, oh yeah, I didn't even know there was tweeters in there. But they, those still work. Um, that, that window, or the, 
the heated window. That wire was just hanging, it wasn't even connected, so all I did was scratch up the area where, where it would connect and uh, solder it back on there. The, the door wouldn't even, uh, or not the door, the, uh, the window glass wouldn't open. Uh, there's, there's a little trick that you can do under, under there to push up and uh, this will open. So, and this is a common problem with, uh, with Tahoe's and Suburbans. Uh, and uh, this guy on YouTube has a fix, but it's a temporary fix. Like, I mean really temporary, like maybe a couple tries. Uh, so what I did was kind of, there, there's this thing that comes out. You just have to prevent it from coming out and it'll, it'll stay put. And it's, it's, it's already lasted a couple months already. Um, let me show you the lights that I put on here. I put on. They were they were hooked up to the to the reverse, and then of course you can see the LED light bar. And uh, I used a I think it was Rough Countries uh, mount, and uh, it doesn't let the door close too well. So you can see I have this this extra piece of foam here to to not. Uh, to prevent air from or making there, there's an air you can hear all the air coming so I put that in there and I quiet it back down and uh, yeah that's, I mean that's pretty much it I mean I, I got it for three thousand uh, dollars like I said this thing still runs you know fantastic I've changed all the differential oils I did 4x4 if I haven't already said it I changed all the differential oils. I'm trying to save up to change out the transmission fluid because it's expensive and, and messy. So I, I just I'd rather have somebody do it. Um, but yeah, once once I start getting a, a more car audio related stuff on here, I'll uh, I'll hopefully make some videos and, and show you guys.